Hello everyone, my name is Titus and uh, today we will start with uh, question number 41 from exercise 21a from the chapter trigonometry. We will be again following the same book that is Concise Mathematics by Selena Publishers. Okay. So we will come to question number 41. So question 41 is 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a. 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a whole under root is equal to sin a by 1 plus cos a. Sin by 1 plus cos a. So what we will do here is we will cross this down 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a whole under root will multiply 1 plus cos a on the denominator and will multiply 1 plus cos a on the numerator. Okay. So, we will simplify it and we have now 1 minus cos square a by 1 plus cos a whole square and root. So, 1 minus cos square a I can write sin square a sin square a by 1 plus cos a whole square and the root. Now we can remove the square root and we will write it as sin a by 1 plus cos a. So now we put LHS is equal to RHS. Now we come to question number 42. Question 42 is 1 minus sin a, 1 minus sin a by 1 plus sin a under root is equal to cos a by 1 plus sin a, cos a by 1 plus sin a. So we will put this down 1 minus sin a by 1 plus sin a under root. So, denominator of hai hai 1 plus sin a. So, how can we even multiply 1 plus sin a on the denominator and simultaneously will multiply 1 plus sin a on the numerator. And then we will simplify. So, now we have 1 minus sin square a divided by 1 plus sin a ka whole square its whole under root. So 1 minus sin square a is cos square a. So cos square a divided by 1 plus sin a whole square under root. So if we remove the root then we have cos a by 1 plus sin a which is the required answer. So again we so LHS is equal to RHS. So now we come to question number 43. So question 43 is 1 minus 1 minus cos square a by 1 plus sin a is equal to sin a. Okay. So, some taking a cos square a I can write 1 minus sin square a divided by 1 plus sin a. This is other form a square minus b square. So I can write this as 1 minus here 1 minus sin square I can write 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a. This whole divided by 1 plus sin a. 1 plus sin 
ए अब ये दोनों कट गया तो नॉ वी है वन माइनस वन माइनस साइन ए एंड इक्वल टू इसके ऊपर जब रैक वन माइनस वन प्लस साइन ए तो ये कटा ये कटा एंड वी है आंसर है साइन ए तो ये प्रूफ इनेशन इज इक्वल टू और एक तो हमारे कम तू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर है वन बाय साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए वन बाय साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए प्लस वन बाय साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए इज इक्वल टू प्रूव करना है टू साइन ए बाय टू साइन ए बाय वन माइनस टू कॉस ठीक है तो इनका एलसीएम ले लेंगे तो एलसीएम में भी साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए ए टू साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए तो यहां हमारा है साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए सो ए मल्टीप्लाई साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए हियर फिर प्लस साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए सो न्यूमिनेटर इफ यू ओपन द ब्रैकेट वी हैव साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए प्लस साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए होल डिवाइडेड बाय अब यू हो गया साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए इनटू साइन माइनस कॉस ए दैट इज फॉर द फॉर्म ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो नाउ इट राइट साइन स्क्वायर ए माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए अब प्लस कॉस ए माइनस कॉस ए कैंसर साइन ए प्लस साइन ए इज टू साइन ए सो टू साइन ए डिवाइडेड बाय साइन स्क्वायर ए हमको डिमेंट में चाहिए कॉस स्क्वायर ए सो आई कैन राइट साइन स्क्वायर ए एंड वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए फिर वो हो गया माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए सो डिफरेंट सो टू साइन ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए हो गया इतना माइनस टू कॉस स्क्वायर ए सो अगेन प्रो एलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रोड आर एस सो नाउ वी कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए डिवाइडेड बाय साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए प्लस साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए डिवाइडेड बाय साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए is equal to two by two by two sine square a minus one two by two sine square a minus one. So again, we will find out the answer. That is, so here we have sine a minus cos a into sine a plus cos a. साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए एंड यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस इफ यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई यू फाइंड द साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए इनटू साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए बी साइन ए प्लस कॉस ए का होल स्क्वायर प्लस ये इससे मल्टीप्लाई होगा साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए इनटू साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए इनटू बी साइन ए माइनस कॉस ए होल स्क्वायर 
So, if we expand it, on the numerator we have sin square a plus cos square a plus 2 sin a cos a 2 sin a cos a plus this we expand we have sin square a plus cos square a minus 2 sin a cos a 2 sin a cos a 4 divided by so we have sin a minus cos a into sin a plus cos a that will be sin square a minus cos square a so we will cut off 2 sin a minus 2 sin a ok so now we have 2 times sin square a sin square a and cos square a cos square a so now we can write 2 sin square a plus 2 cos square a divided by here we, we need sin square a so we will remove cos square a so now we can write sin square a minus cos square a divided 1 minus sin square a on the numerator I can pull out 2 common and will write 2 sin square a plus cos square a whole divided by sin square a if you open the bracket we have sin square a minus 1 plus sin square a and to simplify it we have we know sin square a plus cos square a is 1 so we can write 2 into 1 by sin square a plus sin square a that is 2 sin square a minus 1 that is equal to 2 by 2 sin square a minus 1 hence 2 So next we will do question number 46. So question number 46 is as follows cot A plus cosic A cot A plus cosic A minus 1 divided by cot A minus cosic A plus 1 is equal to 1 plus cos A by sin ok so we will simplify this cos A I can write cos A by sin A plus this I can write 1 by sin A minus 1 whole divided by cos A I can write cos A by sin a minus 1 by sin A plus 1. So here on the denominator we have sin A, here we have sin A, we don't have anything here, so we have multiplied a sin A on the denominator and a sin A on the numerator. Similarly, here also we do the same thing, we have sin A on the denominator, so here we can multiply a sin A on the denominator and a sin A on the numerator. So this now we have as cos A plus 1 minus sin A by sin A whole divided by cos A minus 1 plus sin A by sin A. So this sin A sin A we can cancel on the Derivation. So then now we have cos A plus 1 minus sin A by cos A minus 1 plus sin A. 
what we can do now is we will write this as cos a plus we will put 1 minus sin a in bracket 1 minus sin a in bracket 4 divided by cos a minus here we have again 1 minus sin a in bracket we will pull out the minus in common and as a result we have here 1 minus sin a so now what we will do is multiply cos a minus 1 minus sin a the remainder so what we will do is multiply cos a plus 1 minus sin a on the denominator and cos a plus 1 minus sin a on the numerator so as a result now it becomes on the numerator we have cos a plus 1 minus sin a is whole square whole divided by I can take this a term, this b term, so if this is the form a plus b to a minus b. So now I can write this as cos square a minus 1 minus sin a whole square. Okay, so now we'll expand this. On the numerator we have cos a whole square plus 1 minus sin a whole square plus 2 cos a into 1 minus sin a whole divided by cos square a minus within bracket we have 1 minus sin a whole square so it will be 1 plus sin square a minus 2 sin a This part is done, we don't need this. So now we simplify this one. So now we have cos square a. Cos square a plus we can, we can expand 1 minus sin a. We'll write it 1 plus sin square a minus 2 sin a plus here we have 2 cos a into 1 minus sin a. 2 cos a into 1 minus a. Similarly on the denominator we have cos square a minus 1 minus sin square a and this minus minus it becomes plus 2 sin a. So on the numerator we can write cos square a plus sin square that is 1 and 1 plus 1 is so 2 minus 2 sin a plus 2 cos a 2 cos a into 1 minus sin a and on the denominator let us see what we can do so we can simplify this we can write cos square a is 1 minus sin square a so 1 minus sin square a minus 1 minus sin square a plus 2 sin a so plus 1 minus 1 cancel out on the numerator from here we can take out 2 common so from here also we can take 2 common so simplify further so now we can have from here 2 into 1 minus sin a plus 2 cos a into 1 minus sin a whole divided by so we have 2 sin a 2 sin a minus we have minus sin square a minus sin square a it becomes minus 2 sin square a 
We are simply solving it, we are not doing anything else. So from the numerator we can pull out 2 into 1 minus sin a common. So 2 into 1 minus sin a will pull out common and then we have 1 plus cos a. And on the denominator we can pull out 2 sin a. So 2 sin a will pull out common then we have 1 minus sin a. So we can cut off a 2, we can cut off 1 minus sin a or from the numerator and denominator and as a result we have 1 plus cos a by sin a. This is same as this. So we have proved LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, so now we come to question number 47. So question 47 is 1 plus sin a, 1 plus sin a divided by cos a minus cot a. Cos a minus cot a minus 1 minus sin a divided by cos a plus cot a plus cot a is equal to 2 into 1 plus cot a 2 into 1 plus cot a ok so let us see what to do so we will simplify this so we have 1 plus sin a divided by, I can write this cos a as 1 by sin a, 1 by sin a minus cos a by sin a minus 1 minus sin a, 1 minus sin a divided by 1 by sin a plus cos a by sin a. So here we have in the derivative sin a is common. So we can write 1 plus sin a by 1 minus cos a divided by sin a minus 1 minus sin a 1 minus sin a by 1 plus cos a by sin a. So now how to simplify this? So now that is so this is sin a. This sin a will go up. How we can do that? What we will do will multiply a sin a here and we will multiply a sin a here. So this sin a will get cancelled with this as a result this goes up. Similarly here also we can multiply a sin a on the numerator and a sin a on the denominator. So these two cancel out. As a result, we have sin a on the numerator. So now we can write sin a into 1 plus sin a by 1 minus cos a minus sin a into 1 minus sin a by 1 plus cos a. We can pull out sin a common. So now we have sin a and inside the bracket we have 1 plus sin a, 1 plus sin a by 1 minus cos a, 1 minus cos a minus 1 minus sin a by 1 plus cos a. So we will cross multiply this. The denominators, let's find the LCM. The LCM is 1 plus cos a is 1 minus cos a. So now we have in the denominator we have 1 minus cos a into 
1 plus cos k as a result of which here it becomes 1 plus sin a into 1 plus cos a 1 plus cos k minus 1 minus sin a into 1 minus cos a and outside we have sin a so we will simplify this and we have sin a and one then we will do and multiply this 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus cos a plus sin a plus sin a cos a we will put this in bracket then minus so 1 minus cos a then minus sin a then minus minus plus sin a cos a bracket closed divided by 1 minus cos a 1 plus cos a 1 minus cos square a this bracket closed So now we have sin k 1 plus cos a plus sin a plus sin a cos a. Then we look in the bracket. So we have minus 1 plus cos a plus sin a minus plus minus minus sin a cos a ok hold divided by we know that 1 minus cos square a is sin square a so we have sin square a so from here we can cut off plus 1 and minus 1 and then we can also cut off sin a cos a plus sin a cos a minus we will also cut off sin a here and from here so now we have cos a 2 cos a we have and 2 sin a we have so we can write 2 cos a plus 2 sin a divided by sin a a. I can take out the common and I can write 2 then we have cos a by sin a plus sin a by sin a sin a by sin a so 2 is outside the bracket cos a by sin a is cot a and sin a by sin a is 1 so here, so we have proved 2 into 1 plus cot a. So L is equal to R is proved. Now we come to question number 48. So that is the last number for this exercise. Question number 48. Cot theta cos theta into cot theta cos theta into cot theta divided by 1 plus sin theta. 1 plus sin theta is equal to cos theta minus 1. Eight. So, cos theta into cot theta divided by one plus sin theta is called to cos theta minus one. So, cos theta, cot theta I can write cos theta by sin 
theta and here on the delimiter I can write 1 plus sin theta. So this becomes cos square theta divided by sin theta into 1 plus sin theta. Cos square theta I can write 1 minus sin square theta divided by 1 plus sin theta into sin theta. 1 minus sin square theta I can write 1 minus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta into sin theta. So we can cut off 1 plus sin theta, 1 plus sin theta from the numerator and denominator. And then we have 1 minus sin theta by sin theta. Then 1 minus sin theta by sin theta I can write 1 by sin theta minus sin theta by sin theta. So that is 1 by sin theta is cosec theta minus sin theta by sin theta is 1. So got 1. This is same as this. So we have proved LHS is equal to RHS.